Hey, dear Mr. Vivek, uh, I'm Yuhis. I play in Free Wheeler and Underground Attack. And <clears throat> as you can probably see, I'm a guitarist and I have a lot of always, you know, this tension in my shoulders, my neck, front and backside, in my wrists. I would like to ask you if you have any suggestions or cures of how can I finally, you know, let go of that pain. How can I control myself and be a better person? Music, it has become a part of our life since traditions. And not only Indian tradition, but all over the world. We have different instruments, out of them guitar, which is played from one side only. That is why the Musicians like guitar player, Santur, Veena, then the sports activities like uh, golf, table tennis, those activities are played from one side mostly. Even in the medical field, the doctors which are dentists, they are also working from one side, dealing with the patients. So for them, the neck problem, tension in the neck, neck pain, lower back pain, eye strain, these are the common problems. The main thing or the unknowingly the wrong thing happens with them is while playing they are giving different jerks in different parts of the body mostly in the neck. So when they are playing guitar that time their head is forward which is not the natural position of the cervical region and that is why it is damaging those ligaments and the intervertebral discs are getting affected because of the pressure, unnecessary pressure. As central nerve cord is also passing through the vertebral column. That is why it creates pressure on the central nerve cord and the nerve endings coming out of the spine. From the cervical spine, nerve nerves are reaching to the hands. So that is why they are working with the hands but with the compression of the nerves. That is why they suffer from the neck problem, strain in the neck, stiffness in the neck and hands, numbness in the hands. So best exercise for them as the yogic point of view Traditional, very traditional practices, not the modifications like Brahma Mudra, best practice, best practice for all. In Brahma Mudra, very simple practice, you have to sit comfortably and then very slowly, very gently, you are turning your face to the right side. It will take around 8 to 10 seconds to turn the face. Then within 8 to 10 seconds you will come in center. Very gentle moment, not the jerky moment. Then after that turning your face to the left in the same way. Then coming in center. Then up. Your shoulders are as it is relaxed. Moment will be in the neck only. Then again coming in center and then down, chin to the jugular notch like this, not like this, okay, here. This is one round of Brahma Mudra. If you do such kinds of Brahma Mudra, such, uh, this Brahma Mudra, 5 to 6 rounds, 8 to 10 rounds, whatever time is available with you. That will be very helpful for you, not only at the physical level, not only for the men, uh, this neck tension, but at the spiritual level, for the mental level, emotional level, Brahma Mudra is the best practice for that. Okay. It relieves the stress also, it works on the central nerve cord, root of the central nerve cord. After Brahma Mudra, some shoulder moments like scapula moments, elevation and depression of the scapula, like elevate and depress, this moment. Okay, your shoulder blades, your wings, scapulae, going up and down, very slow movement, not jerky movement, okay, because musicians are giving the jerk always, but for this one, it will be gentle movement. Then after that, protraction and retraction, means in front and back, movement of the scapulae, like this, gentle movement again, and then rotation of the scapulae, like this. Inward and outward rotation. 
This moment is known as circumduction in the medical term. So this moment. So this one will help you to strengthen your scapulae, surrounding muscles of the scapulae, your shoulders and you won't have the pain or you won't develop the problems. These simple techniques, you can give shoulder movement in this way also, like this shoulder rotation. In forward direction, in reverse direction, like this, in this way. So these are some practices which will help you, not only for the musicians, even for the, the for people working with the computer for a long time, IT people, corporate people, for them also, these are the best exercises. Okay? Actually, particularly for the musicians, uh, this part when they use, as it is said by Mr. Tiwari, that uh, one side is normally used, and here, this mu these muscles like sternocleidomastoid muscles, deltoid muscles, latissimus dorsis muscle, these are getting these are get strength maximum. And apart from that, the cervical region from C1 to C7, all the bodies of vertebral are getting very tensed and strained. At the same time, it can give rise of dystrophic deformic disease of vertebral column or osteochondrosis. And as a result of this osteochondrosis, it can also give rise some kind of uh, protrusion of hernia so the the uh, you know these things are really very serious can give rise of a severe pain or some uh, several kind of discomforts so uh, that's why uh, from the point of view of uh, ayurveda uh, exercises are really very needed uh, some kind of exercises which is already shown by teacher, our respected teacher and apart from that some pranayama. Uh, thus, these zones, uh, intervertebral paces are <coughs> uh, can, can get relaxed and this intervertebral disc can, uh, the, the harm to the intervertebral disc can uh, be minimized this one kind of things and apart from that uh, some kind of uh, you know taking care of uh, these zones while sleeping are also needed if take good care in course of sleeping of this position such as sleeping in a very normal way not on a very you know uh, thick cushion not sleeping on a very thick cushion and that pillow should be also very uh, medicated from the point of view of orthoped. In this way, we can conquer over this kind of problems. And not only that, it is also said by our teacher that there's a particular syndrome, not as computer syndrome. That is uh, the addition of cervical osteochondrosis, uh, you know, some kind of hypermetropia or myopia or uh, uh, at the same time headache this is in all known as uh, computer syndrome so we can conquer over this computer syndrome as well doing this kind of exercises mm -hmm. oh mr vivek one more question i sing sometimes sometimes more sometimes less but I've always had problems with my uh, breathing technique when I sing, you know, I always lose my breath. Is there any way how could I fix that? As I told you, in the tradition we have uh, different practices. For example, in Ashtanga Yoga of Maharshi Patanjali, like Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi. Pranayam practices with asana practices but after that pranayama controlled breathing practice which will develop your lungs capacity your breathing capacity if you do it properly in a traditional way especially for the singers to improve your lungs capacity especially exhalation capacity we have particular pranayama practices like we have brahmari pranayama in which you have to inhale through the nose exhale through the nose through the nostrils 
but with exhalation you are going to produce a smooth humming sound of a honey bee or a wasp a black bee that is known as bhramari prana bhramara means a wasp or a black bee so you are going to produce that like you are imagine to produce the sound of a n n so when you produce that sound the bhramari prana is like this first you inhale this will improve your exhalation capacity because you learn to exhale with control <coughs> so you ex exhale, exhale with, with this sound with the sound with the sound so because now this yeah. obstruction in the uh, exhalation this sound is created and your lungs are struggling to exhale more and more so it creates a pressure on the lungs which will improve your lungs capacity exhalation capacity more and more so now you were exhaling Yes, with, with this sound. During exhalation, the sound is created. Yes, okay. Okay, exhalation, uh, the sound which will create during exhalation, normal inhalation, and uh, of course, in the tradition, pranayama is very different. Okay, in with in the tradition, it is recommended with inhalation you have to produce the humming sound of a male bee, and with exhalation you have to produce the humming sound of a female bee. But it is very difficult for common people. After the practice, it is possible. So only simple practice that with exhalation only. this after this bhramari pranayam uh, this bhramari pranayam is working on your nervous system also on your brain centers also so stimulates your nervous system very good for sore throat okay so good for the singers it 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 develops your voice clears your voice okay your vocal cord the other thing important uh, practice is your siha mudra as i told you different practices in yoga so one is pranayam other one practice known as mudra or the symbol okay like a jesha siha means a lion like a lion you are resembling like a face of a lion so it is siha mudra in which you are you are opening the jaws stretching your tongue out gaze at the middle of the eyebrows and exhaling first you inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth sucking the abs in pressing your palms like this <coughs> actual position for siha mudra is sitting in vajrasan crossing the heels in this way like this then so this is good for bronchial asthma also hmm? so such kinds of practices this is one which is very good to develop the exhalation capacity lungs capacity then uh, this uh, sore throat even it is good for the bad breath also if your uh, mouth smells bad it is very good for that upon all your thrown out good for digestion so many practices even it grows your face throughout the life with the aging process also you won't have wrinkles and pimples on the face so it is very effective practice in the tradition we have lots of practices of course within short time we can't explain about all those practices okay but these two are most important practices to improve the capacity for the singers prana vata so there are several exercises i mean to say breathing exercises which teach you uh, how to properly inhale or exhale inspire or expire at the same time how to 
uh, put under control your pranavata. These exercises that uh, something shown by your yoga teacher are really needed. A bonus question coming here. Mm, you probably know that many many musicians tend to abuse alcohol just to get themselves relaxed before a gig or a, any other session. Uh, do you have any advices how to avoid that? Because I don't want to abuse alcohol. I don't want to abuse myself. I want to feel good. How to do it? Actually, we human beings think about the problems at once. We have so many problems. We have so many problems. And they are finding the solutions outside. They are finding some medicines, alcohol, smoking. But actually, all the solutions are also in you. Okay, all the solutions are within you. And yoga is one of them. Especially deep relaxation, breathing awareness, that is known as uh, your prana dharma, body awareness known as deha dharma. These are best practices. People are crazy about meditation nowadays, but that meditation is very uh, long process. As per my understanding, traditionally, no one in the world can teach meditation, no one in the, in the world can learn meditation or do meditation. It is the process of happening. What we can say, we can develop, we can develop the techniques of concentration. Out of them, in a short time, how to relax themselves mentally and physically. Just sitting on the chair also or in a sitting position, in lying down position, any position. Just lie down and relax yourself. Then observe your body parts from the top of the toe, uh, tip of the toes to the top of the head or from top of the head to the tip of the toes. Observing all the parts of the body. Or in sitting position, any position, comfortable position. That is body awareness. Observing your body from externally, internally, your muscles, joints, organs, etc. After that you go to the breath. Observe your breathing. How your breathing is happening. How the speed is of your breath. How the depth of your breath. Naturally, what is happening with your breath. And after that, you just change your breathing pattern. Start to take a deep breath, controlled breathing. After that, you start to exhale. Your exhalation time, increase your exhalation time. Means exhalation time will be little more than the inhalation time in the line down position. Then automatically after some time your thought process comes down as breathing process, speed of the breath and your thought process are directly close to each other, directly um, related with each other. When your mind is disturbed, when you are stressed, when you are irritable, shouting, fighting, that time your breathing increases. At the same time, when your mind is calm, one point it relaxed, that time your breathing becomes calm or it stops also sometimes. In the same way, vice versa, when your breathing is fast, that time your mind is disturbed. When your breathing is slow, controlled, your mind is relaxed. So that is why your breathing should be under control or the breathing awareness is most important thing. Of course, it will take time to develop that habit because nowadays people want something instant. Okay, so instant effect, we have the allopathic medicines, we have the uh, alcohol, smoking, etc. We have the dopings, we have some other drugs. But that is not the permanent solution. They are having the side effects also. Yoga practices don't have the side effects and it is having the permanent impact on your body, on your mind, on your emotions. So the spiritual aspect is most important uh, in yoga, which is uh, there only in yoga. So that is why this deep relaxation process, shavasana, deep shavasana or nowadays yoga nidra is developed. So that in yoga nidra you are giving some, uh, someone is giving some instructions about the body awareness, breathing awareness, relaxation, some imaginary techniques, uh, like that. So when you do such kinds of things, automatically, physically and mentally you are relaxed. And that relaxation is for a long time, not for some time. Because when you take alcohol, when you take some drugs, the effect is for some time. 
when the effect of that alcohol is coming down again you become you become aggressive you are getting disturbed but yoga practice is once you do that uh, go through that yoga nidra or uh, deep relaxation shavasana that effect will be long lasting and if you try to do it every day practice it every day then best for your whole life in yoga one of the thing is meditation which is fairly needed uh, as said by our yoga teacher that while cons uh, consuming alcohol or drugs you can uh, for some time get really relieved why it is so while consuming alcohol and you know uh, tobacco there's a there happens a cascade phenomenon massively secreted your hormone of happiness serotonin but when the acts when the you know implement of this uh, alcohol and uh, this uh, drugs are off the moment you some kind of depression starts so by doing meditation or yoga exercise or um, you know pranayama you can get rid of this kind of situation hello i am drama how to relax my hand and my legs for better my practice thanks so as i told you in the beginning that when you the musicians they have to give some jerky movements so during the drums also they are giving the movements from the wrists and fingers and uh, from the toes and knees ankle joints so and that that is the fast movement dynamic movements but if you don't have the strength in your core muscles in your small muscles inner inner muscles of the body then the problems are developed the pain is developed so mostly when we go to the gym we are working with the superficial muscles external muscles and you develop the muscles only that is only to show the others but actually you should develop the strength of the inner muscles core muscles small muscles of the body for example your uh, this carpals metacarpals tarsals metatarsals okay those muscles are very small muscles even in the spine when you are giving some movement to the spine so that those uh, multiplex muscles very small muscles of the spine those muscles are not working when you are doing some gym activities so purposely when you are giving such kind of exercises like this one okay finger movement in this way okay like knuckles you are scratching something then closing the fist and opening the fingers like this stretching then wrist movement purposeful and very slow and mindful movement like this like this okay in this way so when your attention will be on the inner muscles small muscles of the body so for the fingers and wrists also turning your hands outward and inward rotation in this way in this way okay then in the same way with the toes also when you are giving movement to the toes like this i will remove the socks and show you the actual movement of the toes also so when you are working with those small muscles so like for the toes you should be able to give movements like this first spreading the toes okay nowadays when we are using our toe shoes all the time that is why your toes are coming each other and this bone is developed so this has become a new problem nowadays so that is why you should be able to spread your toes like this like a fingers in this way. then the ankle joint movement up and down that is known as pointing and flexion dorsiflexion plantar flexion rotation like this in this way okay these movements will develop the strength of your calves because in a drum when you have to give the movement like this you sh the moment the uh, movement is done with the calves okay so the solar gastric nomy is those muscles should be strength uh, should be strong so to improve that strength of those muscles you should have this one then pulling the knee caps quadriceps using your front thighs so to develop that strength of the legs is very important <coughs> okay in this way so all those muscles will be developed even in a standing you can give to such kind of exercises like this for example for particular distance and just coming up and down like this one in this way 
so this will improve the strength of your calves okay that will help to those drummers in this way okay so these are some exercises some because i am using the word some because there are so many things which i can <laughs> tell you but within a short time i think this is uh, most important and then if uh, you want then afterwards we can hey thank you mr vivek I feel myself a better person now. Cool. To the fourth question, that uh, how can a drummer uh, relax his uh, fingers after uh, getting exhausted after <coughs> playing drums? Yes, uh, you know, uh, from. Uh, very well said by our uh, again our by our uh, respected yoga teacher and i'm really thankful to him i just want to add up some things while we do something while we exercise while we, we at the same time in the same manner play some kind of drums and all that what happens actually in our muscles there takes place a phenomenon it is known as uh, lactic acid disorder which can give rise of some kind of pain and aerobic res respiration takes place to get rid of this kind of situation either we should take a uh, take rest in regular interval uh, in course of playing this kind of drums if it is not possible so uh, in that case we should be uh, used to this kind of phenomenon by doing exercises as already shown by our teacher and irregular exercises uh, as shown by our teacher it can um, give rise of some kind of adaptation to conquer uh, to to this kind of situation as it is known as uh, lactic acid disorder phenomenon and this kind of phenomenon will happen in a small amount or you can conquer with this kind of uh, you know, a phenomenon at ease. So, very really needed for trauma, but in particular, this kind of exercises, not only one time, but regularly.